Hi, this is Dr. Frederick. There was a question about how to get the exact value for a, a z-score, its probability of being observed. And, and when you ask that question, what is the probability of observing a z-score, what you typically mean is what is the probability of obtaining a z-value of that magnitude or lower. And so uh, that's actually called a cumulative probability because what it does is accumulates all the probabilities of all the z-scores at that value or lower. Now you can do that sort of thing in Excel very easily and uh, I'm just showing you, you can go up here, let's start at home, go to formulas, go to more functions, hit statistical, and because the z-score is for a normal distribution, we'll just go down here to the normal distribution and you get a little little this is actually where you can do all of your work right here. So let's say I'm looking at negative 1.96. Well, what's the mean and standard deviation of a normal distribution? The mean is 0, the standard deviation is 1, and then Excel is going to say, okay, use true for the um, density curve, um, which means all of the uh, values up until that point. So. Here's the question. What is the probability? I know this is small, but this is 1.96. What is the probability that your z-score, that you're going to see a z-score of negative 1.96 or lower, meaning more negative, if the mean is 0, the standard deviation is 1, and the answer is, well, that probability is going to be 0 0.025, okay? And so you can read it right off of there. Let's change it to 1.96. What's the probability of getting a z-score of 1.96 or lower? Well, it's 97 and a half, or 1 minus 2 and a half. <coughs> so, the same thing would be true. What's the probability of getting a z-score of 1.96 or higher is 1 minus 0.975. Now, this may not be immediate clear to you, so, you know, what I would do uh, this is what I always do is just uh, I go to Google and uh, then I'll say Z calculator okay and then I always choose David M. Lane here it's a little um, applet that will do Z calculations for you all day long and it'll do it in such a way that it's helpful to you so you can choose what's the probability of getting Z or higher if you click this radio button above you can do what's the Z score or lower what's the probability of getting the Z of 1 of lower or lower you can do between what's the probability of getting a Z between negative 1 and 1 and the answers come down here in this shaded area okay or you can say what's the probability of a Z score less than negative one or greater than one and I like to play with this all day long and you can just see what the relationships are the probability of one or higher is 0.158 well what's the probability of z or lower well it's going to be one minus 0.158 which is 0.841 and you know what's the probability between two of them well it's 0.34 times two or 0.682 but what's the probability outside well it's one minus this value <clears throat> which is 0.32. Now there's another calculator down here in which you tell it what the mean and standard deviation are. So the nice thing about this is you can take any distribution with the mean and standard deviation and find this sort of stuff. So I want to find above, I want to find out where the shaded area is 0.05 above what value? Well, the z-score is 1.65. Where is the shaded area 5% of the curve? Well, below would be negative 1.65. Where is the shaded area equal to 0.682? Between what values? Well, between 1 and negative 1, right? So you can, you can play with it at this level, you can play with it at the above level, and these are good ways to do it. Now the tables are confusing to some people, 
And the reason that I like the figures is because you can see the difference between a one and two tail test. Sometimes in your tables, you're not paying attention to the one and two tail issues. It gets confusing for you. And so I say practice here. And in fact, if you want to do, use your tables, which is always a good idea, I practice with this little applet here until you see the connection between what's in the table and what appears on the screen.